In this video, we're going to investigate the use of linear approximations and how to define them. We start with the function f of x equals 1 half x squared plus 1, corresponding to a diagram much like this. We want to find the tangent line to this point and this point, which corresponds to 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 9. Um, by, by finding the tangent lines, we're able to approximate that region of the graph. For instance, the tangent line to 2, 3 will look like this. And so we can say that in the, re in the region approximately, oh, I'll say roughly from here to here, we have a rough idea of what the correct value is. Um, depending on the graph, the linear approximation may only be good for a very small distance. Nonetheless, it, it, it can, this can help us when other calculus methods fail us. The, to find the slope, okay, first the uh, equation of the line is mx plus b equals y. m is the slope, which of course is the same as the derivative. The derivative of 1 half x squared plus 1 is x. This is 1 half times 2x is equal to x. The, uh, therefore, for the point 2 comma 3, the slope is 2. To find the tangent line, we set up the equation mx plus b equals y, only we place in our values of m, x, and y. So 2 is our slope. Our point is 2 plus b equals 3. Ergo, b equals minus 1. The equation of the tangent line is 2x minus 1 equals y. That is our linear approximation. Likewise, for this next point right here, we can say that we start with the point 4 comma 9. The slope at this point is x equals 4, the slope is 4. 4x plus b equals y. At the point 4 comma 9, we have 4 times 4 plus b equals 9. Therefore, we can say that b equals negative 7. In which case, our line is right there. Tangent line just barely touches the graph at that single point. And it gives us a decent approximation over a limited range, roughly speaking. Now, in a case like this, we can easily calculate the value of the function at any point. And so this isn't a place where we'd normally use linear approximation. The cases where we would use it are likely to be more complicated, more complicated functions or raw data from an instrument for, for which there is no function to calculate. But in any case, the use of this tangent line gives us a very close feel for the value of the function. 
for um, if you wish to investigate this further, we can use the second derivative uh, to calculate a degree of error. To give us an idea of the amount of error in the linear approximation. 